Right, so this is the sort of in development version of my screen maker, currently with only one Peltier and one switch and one power supply. Um, it's 400 watt power supply, 100 watt Pelt. Um, as soon as the power supply comes on, it's spinning up the, uh, the fan. The power supply is a bit crap, but it should be good enough for the job. Um, now, at the moment, the Pelt is neutral. It's a uh, double pole, double throw switch, so we can reverse the, uh, the voltage to the pelt. Now it just about has enough poke to freeze some water. If you put it into cold mode, if my handy assistant can get close enough to that, you should just be able to see it's freezing. And it's taken a few seconds, but it has actually just about frozen now although my calculations indicate this isn't performing as it should, so that's frozen now, although not hard frozen. Um, it's only drawing about 5 amps at less than 12 volts, which obviously isn't the performance you'd expect of 100 watt pelt. My suspicions are that it's actually 100 watts at 16 volts, which means we're going to require some modifications of the power supply. Now, of course, the coolest feature, um, or not, and the thing that will allow me to make the, do the entire ice cream process in one bowl is that this is reversible. So now instead of cooling it, it's heating it. And very rapidly, it will boil. Because now not only is it taking the uh, 100 watts of heat from the, uh, or 60 watts from the electricity, it's also taking heat out of the atmosphere using, well, the reversed, uh, what's it called? It doesn't break the circuit of thermodynamics, honest. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So, next step is to get everything onto the bowl, uh, increase the voltage so that it's actually running at the, uh, the nominal 100 watts, and then uh, and see if it actually works.